Hey there guys, it's Sasha here and welcome to another uh, Master Duel video. In this one I will be showcasing my Trap Tricks uh, deck profile. So in this one I've been trying to build Trap Tricks for a bit of time now and well for me it was very hard because considering that um, Sarah is a UR. So tra Sarah was very hard to pull because for one I only got one copy and I managed to get a second copy from crafting but then I decided to open some uh, mini packs as in like one or two of and I got my third trap trick Sarah so yay so then I can actually finally build a deck so yeah now I've got everything I need to actually build trap tricks so in this video I'll be showcasing what ratios are and how I'll be explaining it so you do run free ash uh, main staple of any deck, uh, you, it's the counter to max C, uh, so that you don't get max seed, and also it's a anti anything that gets from the deck, and you know you pretty much know how Ash works if you play TCG. TCG. Uh, free Mamelo, Mamelo is your main searcher for the trap your trap hole cards, and also when it's special summon, you can it destroys. It's a mandatory effect, so it destroys a spell and trap your opponent controls. Keep in mind that this actually does um, interact pretty well with Sarah. So I run two Dianea. Uh, this is your monster born for trap tricks as when it's normal summoned. And when it's special summoned, it can target a trap hole in your graveyard and set it. Pretty good. Uh, we run three of the Mantis. Uh, trap tricks Mantis is your searcher for any um, trap tricks monster, including himself. Also. And when during either play's turn, it can has a quick effect where it can, where it can uh, swap a spell and trap you control and return to hand. And uh, yes, yeah, another one pretty much just swapping. Uh, running two Velasquillo. This Velasquillo is a pretty good card in terms of its um, versatility in terms of extending plays. So, this is your extender for trap tricks. That's all I could say. Uh, the other effect is kind of like a graveyard reset trap hole but it rarely comes up because you're not going to use it that much because you're mostly just going to get OTK'd or you're going to finish the game um, pretty quickly or I don't know basically you won't be able to use it and unless you have a really really long grind game I run free Parallax Seed uh, Parallax Seed is uh, pretty much one of your few starters with um, summoning Sarah and then summoning a parallax seed behind it and then you can overlay them for one of your rank fours so running one regeki one duster because main staples and they're easy to get actually duster I think you need a craft but it's not too hard uh, free prosperity um, yeah main staple for any trap tricks uh, free torrential tribute free compulse this has saved me a few times also is very very good in terms of uh, stalling. Um, free Phantom Knights of Shake Brigadine. Now this one works in combo with uh, Sarah because when you summon Sarah, you use this to summon itself, and then Sarah activates the summon from the deck. So yeah, when you activate a trap card, you can special summon trap tricks from your deck with a different name than the ones you currently control. So yeah, uh, two Floodgate Trap Hole and two Gravedigger Trap Hole. Uh, Grave Diggers is used to burn and also Floodgate is used to set. Uh, you can go for a free run free one ratio if you want. If you have only three floodgates and one grave diggers that also works fine. Uh, because you can easily reset it using Vesculo later on. Uh, if it's in the graveyard. Uh, free Solemn Judgment, two warning sorry, two, two strike. I don't I only got two copies. Uh, I don't think I'll play a third strike in this build. Uh, I think the build is pretty top notch in terms of its um, card ratios. Uh, the other thing I probably would take out is probably the. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a Regeki or maybe one of Fiskillo. That's what I would usually do for adding up a third Song Strike. But the deck is really. The deck has difficulty in terms of um, maintaining its board, or in this case, trying to get around boards. Uh, like you'll see in the replays, which you'll see later on, uh, and one Imperial Order. For the extra deck, we're just running uh, Outland Draco in case you go into rank 4 and you're going for OTKs 
Oh no, Judge K, you're trying to finish him off. This can attack directly. Um, because you can make rank fours later on in the in the, uh, in the deck, because they're mostly just level fours. And then you can just rank four and attack for game. Attack for game. Um, one rep in berserk because well, um, I don't have any other rank fours. Um, I'll probably chase this up for a change this up for a Paguska if you do have it. Uh, one Rafflesia, this card is needed and it's also one of the strongest cards in this deck in terms of its trap tricks um, effects. So this card's unaffected by trap effects while it has Xeed like material. Also trap tricks monsters you control except itself cannot be destroyed with battle card effects. This will come up a couple of times. Uh, this actually does come up a few times when you're actually doing um, duels uh, because they do um, just remember that you can't be destroyed by battle card effects that's all you need to remember when you have this on the field except itself uh, so this can be destroyed by battle card effect but the others can't but it's unaffected by trap so yeah it's a pretty good defense and so your opponent cannot target trap your opponent can't target trap tricks monster except itself Rafflesia with card effects so anti-protection anti-targeting protection you can only target Rafflesia which is nice and once we turn quick effect, you can detach and send a trap hole from your deck to the graveyard, meeting its requirements, and yeah, activate its effect, like normal. The other ones I run are the Zodiac Engine, uh, Chuck and Iron, and Bobo, because Chuck and Iron requires two level fours, then you overlay him to Bobo, and attack directly. And then you go into a Zeus later on. I managed to craft a Zeus, so yay! I, this is one of the cards I needed to make sure this was one of the last cards I need for this deck and now they do have it it's complete and uh, one uh, Elmer, Elmeris Elmeris is great in terms of your comboing also bring you back later on uh, your bring back later on your monsters in your graveyard using its um, uh, detach two materials effect actually it's because you do this to combo off to go into your link other link monsters anyway uh, one link spider because you run the shape brigadine three terror this is mandatory or two you can run two copies i rarely summon the third but usually i just banish it off the uh, prosperity uh, you rarely go for the third because it's it's um yeah it's not common i mean you could just run two and just um, play any uh, filler uh, like link, uh, link monsters, or you just run whatever. I don't know. It depends up to you. Uh, one Nama Phoenix, um, one Trapjus Galaria. Uh, this car, this link summon cards unaffected by trap effects. Also, it gains the effect once per turn. After you activate a normal tra uh, trap hole card, you can set it to uh, to your field instead of sending it to graveyard. Also, during the end, your end phase, you can special summon trap tricks in defense position from the graveyard. So it's very, very good in terms of summoning back your uh, mantis. Because you can um, use the effect to swap swap traps from your hand and field. Um, Deco is just, this is just filler. You can take it out for whatever you want. And Borrow Loads Dragon. I have actually managed to pull another Borrow uh, Sword, which is great. Uh, even though I don't need it, but yeah. Um... Barrel Sword is just in here because I can play it. I probably if you have access code talker, you can also play it as well. But yeah, okay, that's about it for this uh, deck profile, and I hope you guys enjoy the replays that are going to be coming up after this uh, discussion. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time when I do my next Duel Master, sorry, Master Duel video. All right, see you then. Bye bye.